Hi everyone! Today I'm here to answer the question, what the heck is soil? According to the Soil Science Society of America, soil is the unconsolidated mineral or organic material on the immediate surface of the earth that serves as a natural medium for the growth of land plants. Here, organic refers to anything that is living or used to belong to something that was living. And mineral refers to anything that is not living but also occurs naturally. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I I'm kidding. I I'm going to explain more. This definition is really vague because soil itself can be really, really varied. And honestly, when talking about soil, what it is is best described by how it's formed. And soil is formed through CLORPT. CLORPT is an acronym that soil scientists or pedologists used to refer to soil forming factors. CL is climate, which includes things like temperature and rainfall of an area. O is organisms, which covers any effect from living things. R is relief, which is the slope or topography of the land itself. P is parent material, which is the chemical composition of minerals that exist in the area. And T is time which is the forward marching progress of existence that eventually destroys us all. If even one of these factors varies by a little bit, you can end up with a completely different type of soil. Which, okay, I know what some of you are saying. I thought there were only a few different types of soil. I've only heard of sand, clay, and loam. Why is this person so obsessed with dirt? Sand, silt, and clay refer to particle size. Sand has the biggest particle size, clay has the smallest, and silt is somewhere in the middle. Loam, which is what most people picture when they hear the word soil, is a specific combination of the three. And how do we figure out this combination? Ta-da! The soil textual triangle. If you know the percentage of clay, silt, and sand in a particular sample of soil, you can figure out the name of its soil texture. Note that loamy sand and sandy loam are different things. God. If a sample is 40% silt, 40% sand, and 20% clay, congratulations! You've got yourself a beautiful patch of loam. Go grow yourself something pretty! If you don't have time or don't have access to figure out specific percentages, you can actually figure out soil texture by feel, believe it or not. I'm not going to get into it because it's a little confusing and involves the longest flowchart I've ever seen, but here's a link to the video that also explains the process really well. Link also in the doobly-doo. Do people even call the description the doobly-doo anymore? Now, silty clay, silty clay loam, sandy loam. All of these really only refer to soil texture, not necessarily soil type. Before I start talking about soil taxonomy, yes, that is a thing, I have to talk about soil horizons and soil profiles. No, I'm not talking about Facebook profiles, you incorrigible millennials. I am talking about these. If you cut into the ground, soils have layers. These layers are called horizons, and different horizons can help classify different types of soil. The O-horizon is a layer of organic matter toward the surface and can have various layers of decomposition. A is topsoil, or the surface horizon. B is a subsurface horizon. C is parent material. The E-horizon is an alluviation horizon. This just means that leaching has washed away minerals from this layer, making it appear lighter in color. And in the words of the most eloquent poetry troupe of our day, Young Money, R refers to... First, refers to bedrock. Funny. Now, not every soil profile is going to have every horizon. For example, if an area doesn't get a lot of rain, it might not have an E horizon. Or if an area gets tilled a lot for farming, there might not be an O or an A, and it'll skip right to B. This variation among profiles and the chemical and textual composition of each sample is what classifies them into one of 12 soil orders. I'm not going to go into all 12 here, just know that there is a ton of variation. There's everything from vertisols, which shrink and swell depending on how much water is there, to spotosols, which have a layer of organic material and metal underneath the A horizon, to gelosols, which are partially frozen. If you need to memorize these for a test or something, here is a link to a song that talks about all of them. Also a link in the description. These orders in soil taxonomy are kind of the equivalent of kingdoms and biological taxonomy, and that there are a ton of specific examples underneath them. And they can get really specific. Actually, why don't I wrap up everything we've talked about today by explaining one of these specific types. Myaka fine sand. Myaka fine sand is the state soil of Florida. By the way, every state has an official state soil. It has a spotic horizon of aluminum oxide and iron beneath the A horizon, so it's a spotosol. The A horizon is gray sand. There's an E horizon that is slightly lighter gray. 
The B horizon is dark brownish with organic bits, and the C horizon is a medium brown sand. It forms in a climate of 72 degrees Fahrenheit in the flatwoods of Florida. There are organic layers, including the spotic horizon. The relief of the land is a slope from 0 to 8%. Its parent material has a texture of fine sand, and just like any soil, it forms over time. Well, unless you're some kind of mole person, practically anything you do in your life will happen on top of soil. Wanna start a farm? Better make sure your plan of choice can grow on the land you've bought. Wanna build a new house? Better make sure your foundation isn't gonna fall into a sinkhole. Want a septic tank? Make sure your soil can hold it or you'll end up with a yard full of human feces. That happens. Knowing basic soil terminology can help you understand soil where you live, but can also help act as a shorthand for what you can and can't do in terms of land use. Soil is such an important aspect of the environment and affects nearly everyone and everything on the planet, yet for some reason it goes relatively underappreciated by the average person. So go ahead, whip out these facts next time you're at a dinner party or just share this video on Facebook and we as a society can grow to appreciate soil a little more. Hey, end screen. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good junk if you liked it. This is gonna be the first of a what the heck series that I'm doing in which I just kind of explain random things. I kind of want to focus on science related things, but I'm open to anything. So just tweet me at savroach or leave a comment if you have an idea for another video be awesome. All my references are in the doobly-doo, but feel free to tweet me if you have any questions about where I got my information or if you just want to know more about soil. Also, I guess people plug other things they're in at the end of YouTube videos. Well, I am part of a comedy show called Off The Wire and we're really funny. So yeah, check us out because we are hilarious and we like views. Thanks. Oh, Lord.